here, and she is a rosemary flower, and she is an authentic bronze artist. <laughs> and she make a beautiful work, so we're gonna see her work here today. And by the way, this this exhibit is a self reflection part, practicing unpatterning. I'm Sophia Tibuka. I'm a creator. Okay, let's see her work. Okay, give me a second, give me a second. I'm gonna bring this to you. Okay, let me, let me see if I can click this or not. Okay, I think it's okay. Okay, so this is a special painting. This is very special because I never heard what is a smoke painting. So this is smoke painting. Yes, so this yeah. is smoke painting. So what I use is uh, pyrotechnics, smoke fireworks, no gunpowder, and um, I use them in combination with acrylic paint. So these areas here and throughout is blue and also some white smoke, which appears as, as a, a brown. And um, so I kind of go back and forth between adding paint and also adding the smoke from the fireworks. So the paint is added by hand in some cases, but also with silk screen as well to get more kind of exact um, shapes. I've also taped off areas and added paint. So there are many, many, many layers of paint. These pieces all have grommets on the side because originally the canvases were created at the Golden Foundation Residency. And how I did it was with um, a rolling paintbrush, which was moved by the action of a leaf blower. So these paintings were originally, the canvas was black and white paint, and you can see all the marks that were randomly made by the rolling paintbrushes activated by the leaf blower. And then I took the canvas, I went back into it, I adhered it to a larger canvas uh, so it could be stretched, and I began my smoke painting on top of it. Oh, great. Yes, and then you make a very decent work, the yellow one. This is yep. a huge piece. Woo! And then this is the latest work you did. Yes. Right? Yes, yes, yes. So, so this th is, these are both 2003, uh, 2023, <laughs> yes. Um, and this uh, was begun, this canvas was begun during a performance at Wave Hill. Botanic Garden and Art Center um, in the Bronx, located Bronx. in the Bronx, uh, last year, the end of last year. And um, so I did a performance with it. I, with the performance, I created the smoke painting with green and um, purple and orange smoke. And I used something called a smoke painting tool. Smoke painting tools roll. So they're moved with a pole that I, I insert into the tool. On the bottom are, is a, a series of holes that create these round patterns. And the power techniques are put into the tool and contained. And then the pressure from the smoke shoots out of the tool and is moved. When it's moved, it swirls and creates these sort of fractal or spirographic kind of um, marks around the whole canvas. So once that was created, I took this again back to the studio and I began to add paint directly on top. So I didn't go back and forth with more smoke. With this one, I started with the smoke and then I just created the painting right over it with acrylic. I continued the painting with acrylic. Um, and I used a paint brushes as well as um, silk screen to, to uh, apply the acrylic paint. Oh, so cool. Thank you for making this beautiful, beautiful work. And then you, you're not only two-dimensional two artwork yes. you did. So here is very, very special. So, okay, maybe we can start from here. Sure, um, so yeah. well, maybe with this one because oh, you okay. can see the okay. smoke. So these okay. are called smoke domes. And um, they're created by inserting smoke canisters, little smoke balls, rather, into the piece. And you can see those on either side. 
Um, and so while it's being made, these, the pyrotechnics is embedded into the glass, and then I am able to regulate the pressure of the pyrotechnics releasing its smoke into the glass to create a form. Um, and so some of these use color glass. In this case, there's clear glass. So the kind of smoky, um, uh, white smoky uh, appearance of it is from the smoke itself as it uh, blows the piece. Aww. So I was really interested with this work in capturing the breath of the mm -hmm. firework and yeah. trying to see what kind of form the breath of the firework would make if it was given a chance to make a form. Yeah. And so the good thing about uh, using glass is it kind of is very movable at first, mm -hmm. and then once the firework sort of finishes, that's when it becomes not movable and movable. Yeah. So it, the sort of curing, the, the annealing timer, the, the time that the glass hardens mm -hmm. really matches the, the time that it takes for the firework to release yeah. its smoke. And so in this way, the, the, the smoke uh, mm -hmm. process is complemented with the glass process. Oh. They complement each other. Yeah, yeah. This is very amazing. And these pieces, yeah. mm -hmm. it's important to mention, yes. were um, made in collaboration with um, Hot Sands in Asbury Park, which is a glass studio, okay. as well as uh, mm -hmm. with Jack Wax and his and his MFA glass students at uh, Virginia yeah. Commonwealth University. So I used oh, two yeah. studios oh, to yeah. create these wow. works, these different works. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. And this is so cute, the shape, I like it. <laughs> that's just done by, you know, that's yeah. pull, pulled up when mm -hmm. you clip off the, mm -hmm. the, the, um, oh, okay, and they make like this. When, you, when you're applying yeah. the glass, uh -huh. like the patty is being applied, mm -hmm. you, you pull, pull, if you pull up while it's being blown, oh, wow and you clip it, you're mm -hmm. able to make these more kind of yeah. um, taller pieces. So yeah. there's a lot you can do with mm -hmm. the glass and mm -hmm. with this technique. And with these more yeah. colorful ones, mm -hmm. we embedded you know, the rods of glass mm -hmm. that were pre-made. Mm -hmm. um, also used a lot of found mm -hmm. glass, colored glass that was yeah. found on the studio, little scraps. Yeah. And so during the process, mm -hmm. these scraps and rods were embedded into the glass as yeah. it was creating its its form. Yeah. It's very beautiful. Oh, I hope people can see. And then the, you make more. Yeah. More. More Here's here. some more, and these were sort of rondelles that were pre-made with yeah. white glass and clear glass. Mm -hmm. um, some of them, you know, kind of collapsed and others kind of blew out in certain ways. Mm -hmm. That's where those white stripes come from. And these are pieces of glass that were colored glass that are embedded with yeah. rods on the bottom. Mm -hmm. So um, just trying to explore what can happen. So what I found was interesting mm -hmm. with this process and, and not explainable was, yeah. especially with this piece, you can see it, mm -hmm. is I used the same firework, mm -hmm. same kind of firework with both yeah. these bubbles that were created mm -hmm. at the same time. Mm -hmm. But one of them got darkened into this beautiful gunmetal color inside and the other one stayed crystal clear. So um, I really have no idea. Mm -hmm. It's kind of the, 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 the magic Mm -hmm. of the process yeah you know yeah. it kind of creates something that you can't ever mm -hmm. um ever predict or yeah. um even it yeah make so so yeah. it so that's okay. how these were made yeah yep this is great okay i want to show a little more so the process is all my own yeah. sort of trying to create figure out how to mm -hmm. to use instead of the human breath to blow Last, the breath mm -hmm. of the firework. So yeah, that yeah. process is still mm -hmm. ongoing, and mm -hmm. this is an ongoing series that I hope to continue in the future mm -hmm. with yeah. other glass studios. Great. Thank you so much. And then, Thank you, Sophia. Yeah, and then if you have your Instagram or website, yeah, please so go. rosemaryfiori.com. Mm -hmm. And for Instagram, my handle is rosemaryfiori.nyc. Okay. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yay.